Hey everybody. Uh, so, I am starting off August with a artist residency, and this is being held at the Shadbolt Center, which is an art center, the main art center in Burnaby, the city I live in. And so I've just set up in the studio. Um, I've got the big river piece laid out because I'm going to start weaving on that. I finished the quilting and I've got the um, poetry project laid out on this table. And then over here is something that I proposed for the residency, which is, um, which is a daily, every day I'm here, I'm gonna be going out to the lake. Um, the, the, there's a lake here, a lovely lake with a walking path around it and sketching the lily pads. And one of the days I'm even gonna go out in the kayak and sketch from above. So I'm very excited and everything's loaded in. And now I have to go do my mom duties of grocery shopping and finishing up my day. I have a day of work tomorrow at the museum and then I'm here Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I will be um, basically my uh, studio vlog for August will be the residency here. And um, I'll also be making a separate video that's just the residency without like extra talking and things like that. So uh, you can look forward to that. And uh, I'm really excited to uh, get to work here on Tuesday. done my first day here at my residency. It's uh, five to two and I'm gonna be here for another 50 minutes or so before I have to go pick my kids up from camp. So I really put my head down today and just kind of pushed through a whole bunch of things trying to get like a sort of rhythm established to what I wanted to work on. So I started off working with the poetry work and I figured out the text and how I'm going to add the text to the pieces which I'm going to do with my embroidery machine. Um, I think it'll give a nice uniformity to the text. Um, I was originally going to do photo transfer but I feel like at this stage I just don't want to add another level, like another media into, into the quilting. I just want to keep it with thread for now. Um, it just feels more it just feels more doable it feels more manageable for me for some reason so that's how i'm going to do that and then um i'm also working on just starting the river quilt right now just adding the first layer to the first river and then tomorrow i'm going to integrate the sketchbooks part which is going down to the lake and sketching and and being at the lake for a while so i'll probably start the day with a walk 
do that in the morning um, and then come into the studio for the rest of the time. And for this week, I'm only here until about 2.50 and then I have to go pick up my kids from camp. So next week I'll be able to do longer days, although today I'm feeling my stamina is going down and I have a very busy week, so I don't know how well my stamina will maintain past that, but that's what I'm trying and uh, so far so good. Thought I would check in on day two. Uh, it is two o'clock again. I guess that's my check-in time for this residency. Um, I have gotten pretty far on the first two pages of my poetry book. I've done the wording, I've done some painting, and then I've finished the first long piece of the poetry quilt that I'm making at the same time. So each page of the book will have some words on it and in each panel of the quilt will relate to that page of the book. Uh, I'm just in the process of finalizing my thir third poem. I've already sent my second poem to Jen and now I'm finalizing my third poem which I want to send by the end of the month. Um, I have a meeting with her next week about uh, the project and just to catch up and so far so good on the residency um, I'm still finding I'm trying to get my stamina up like this is definitely the time of day this last hour where I'm struggling um, but this week um, because it's such a busy week it's probably better that I'm doing shorter days anyway uh, because I do have a lot of work happening at the museum as well this weekend and then next week it will be a little bit quieter of a week for me I won't have quite as much going on in my brain as well as like on the atmosphere outside so um, I still haven't gone and done the walking around the lake part um, I have to go do a session tomorrow with that and then um, I plan to do a little bit more of that next week. I think I'll push that part of it to next week because um, there's just a lot going on around the studio as well in the park t uh, this week with concerts and things. And so it just doesn't feel like a peaceful atmosphere to go and sit and sketch in. So uh, I'm just going to wait till next week. Um, hopefully it'll be a bit quieter. And uh, yeah, that's it for my check-in for day two.
Hey everyone. Okay. It's day three. I am super tired. And um, over here is two pages, two um, sections of the quilt, of the bigger quilt. So I've done a lot of work in three days on that. And I've got about half an hour before I have to go, so I'm gonna just do a little bit more hand stitching on the river piece, which now has one kind of uh, strand per river. And I also did some uh, sketching outside today. I did walk a little bit around the lake, not a lot, just a quick, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes this morning. Um, so I plan to do a bit more with that next week. Like do an actual loop of the whole lake and kayak um, so I'll focus a bit more on that part of the work next week I think this work just really called to me at this time and I really wanted to get a handle on it because it feels like it's something ongoing and it's something that we have a deadline for and so it felt more pressing to work on that than to focus more on the sketching even though it is why I'm here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do more on it next week. Um, but it's, I want to be very loose about the sketchbook. If it doesn't keep, if I don't feel it, I'm not gonna push too hard. And um, this, as long as it's calling to me, I just want to keep working with it and um, working towards it. And I, my brain is pretty tired. I've been kind of tandem doing both my jobs these last three days. So, uh, and now I have to go do my two, my museum job tomorrow and the next day. So I am pretty tired. Um, but I'm, you know, it's just one of those situations where you have to make the most of the time you have and, uh, use as much as you can. And so tonight there's a little reception for the artists in residence. So I'll get to meet a few of the other artists and um, yeah. And so it's a very busy week and uh, making it through. And so the next time you'll see me in this space will be next week, next Tuesday. So I now have like uh, one, two, like four days off from this space. So I won't be here until Tuesday. And um, yeah, I'll check in again with you then.
everyone. Today is um, Wednesday. I can't remember which day it is in my residency, but I just wanted to share with you um, to keep it real that um, this week has been a bit of a struggle. <laughs> um, I'm just a bit run down, I think. So as much as I'm enjoying it and I'm getting a lot done, don't get me wrong, there's still a lot happening. I just feel today like I have no stamina, which kind of sucks um, because I want to just push really hard and do more, but I just don't have the, I just don't have the, um, the energy to do that today. So um, I've been working on the next chord on this river and I'm going to finish that and then I think I'm going to go home um, it seems a shame to waste time but I also think that being productive is not possible to do continuously and I'm still going to come out of this residency even if I'm doing shorter days this week with a lot of work done and I need to look at what I am accomplishing, not what I could be accomplishing if I had more energy. Because I just don't have it. You know, I just, I'm really run down. This summer has been a lot of, um, a lot of work, a lot of, uh, some travel. And there has been some resting, but um, not as much as probably I need physically right now. So I want to honor that today by not pushing myself to stay here till some arbitrary time uh, that I deem appropriate in my organizer brain and to just like bow out when I feel like I need to bow out. So I'm like I said, I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to tidy up and I might putter for another I would say I'll probably be here for another half an hour. Right now it's 1.30. And then I'm going to head home and hang out with my kids and take a bath. And just, it's supposed to be really hot today too. And I can't feel the temperature completely because I'm in, uh, like, it's sort of an air-conditioned studio. It's not super air-conditioned, but there's air conditioning in the rest of the building. And then there's a fan and stuff in here. And there's not a lot of direct light. So... I don't feel the fact that it's going to be 34 degrees um, Celsius. And um, yeah, so I think uh, it'll be much hotter when I go home, but I just feel like, yeah, I should go home uh, and rest and read and relax and try to feel filled up. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to go kayaking with my boys in the morning. And we might come here. I was originally planning to bring them here and spend just a couple hours after lunch working. I might still do that. Or I might just go home uh, after hanging out with them. And again, um, I have to work on Friday at my museum job. And I have booked to be here Saturday and Sunday. And um, I think that, you know, I have to be kind to myself and realize that there's only so much energy I have. And so if I push too hard, I'm just going to run myself down even more and it's not going to be worth it. So tomorrow I will see if I come in or not. I might just go home with my kids and work on. I've got projects at home to work on as well. So, um, yeah. That's, that's where I am right now. I think, I think things are moving at a good pace and I need to be grateful for that and not um, expect myself to work like a machine because I'm, I'm not a machine, I'm a human. So that is my update for today and um, I will check in again later.
everyone. Okay, so I didn't film a lot today. It was my last day in the studio and um, I just felt like working and not really filming what I was doing, but um, I did really well. I got four panels almost completed, three like really close and then one very close with a little bit of text has to go on to it for the poetry quilt. And I got another line sewn onto the big river. And that concludes my uh, two week residency um, at Deer Lake. So it's been really good. Um, I've been really tired. It's been a very busy time. And so I'm gonna kind of take stock of that for future residency applications. And um, I'm gonna just go home and unload this stuff and continue to putter away and work. I've decided to participate in the Thrive Together Network's virtual residency in September. So I've set aside one day a week, each week that I will be specifically working on my work. And I'm hoping that that will get me into a habit of doing it for the rest of the year. And if I can manage that, I'm gonna be really happy with the results, I think. So that's my goal for the rest of the year, setting aside one day a week for my work. Whether that's on the week, a weekend day or a weekday, it will change probably depending on my schedule, but I just have to preset the dates at the beginning of the month, the same way I do my museum work, and then I'm hoping that it will stick. So that's gonna be the end of this studio vlog. Thank you very much for following along, and uh, I'll be back again soon with another video.